This afternoon, millions of Americans are without power. The, the sun's going down. It's going to get really dark, and we're going to have to light some candles. Are you doing nothing, too? Nobody's doing anything today because there's no power right now. No power. Nothing in here works. There's no AC. Toilet doesn't work. What are we supposed to do? Where's everybody? We're stuck. we got to get some water. Wait your turn. Daddy, when are you coming to pick us up? Blackout is the result of a cyber attack. Why is nobody helping us? American Blackout, a premier movie event, Sunday, October 27th at 9 on the National Geographic Channel. Spend a lot of time alone in the wilderness. You better like yourself. This is a whole new level of survival, and we're trying to film it. I commend anyone who can survive in this area. There's a bear right across. Hello, Mr. Camera. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not a fan of moving around with camera gear. It's really easy to just become your own worst enemy. The solitude is driving me insane. I don't have a camera crew to talk to, or I don't have any interaction whatsoever except for me. Pretty sure I just saw a cougar about 10 feet from my front door. I'm sitting in here. I was just charged by a bear. Could be into the woods circling behind me. I don't know. The last man standing wins $500,000. But it's not worth dying over. What was that? I never would have thought that I would have lived through something like that. We are so small compared to these forces of nature, and yet there's something that drags you to it, even though it's dangerous. On their own, storms are not an evil thing, but when they intersect with humanity, that's when it becomes tragic. Time is not on our side. You've got to get to your safe place now. My role as a storm chaser is storm journalism, but it's not just an adventure. There's a real serious side to it. Science and history of our own has told us that the earthquake and tidal wave will come here again. When that comes, it's going to change things. Send us some help. We are trapped. Nobody can get to us. I'm just going to hunker down into my car, just praying. God, please give me five minutes. There's a reality that people's lives are going to be changed forever. They are Doomsday Preppers. I've got enough food stockpiled to last me at least a year. My many sources of water will get me through any catastrophe. I have a network of stocked hideouts so I can bug out at a moment's notice. I have an unlimited amount of wood. I won't be left in the cold. I am preparing for World War III. Jimmy believes that because of dwindling resources and failing economies, a major world power will invade and occupy the United States. It's going to be your top dogs, people like China, Russia, and the US. Hopefully, they won't be stupid enough to use nuclear weapons. Land grabs are going on with Russia now. Uh, they're trying to reform the Soviet Union. The Chinese are sleeping like a very dangerous dragon. If they team up with Russia, we're going to be in a world of trouble. I've been asked a lot of times, why do you think Survivor Man did so well? It essentially spawned an entire genre of uh, television called Survival TV. Really, Survivor Man, in its base, has always been about one main thing, connecting to nature, celebrating nature. The commitment to excellence has become a part of what I do. It makes you a stickler for details. 
but the joy of completion that follows it. Changing and innovating and adapting is what Survivor Man has, has always been about.